and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Combine Oars add-on. Uh, I wanted to take a look at this because I thought it was interesting. Combining, combining items is probably like one of the add-ons that you could probably get the most mileage out on. While this isn't combining like all items, it's combining the, only the oars. But like, um, I definitely like to see an add-on that combines like all of the items, where you can combine all of the items. And not just ores, but yeah, let's uh, take a look, shall we? So we've got all combination. Combine or combining ores is very simple, just put them side by side in the crafting table. And here's our, here are all the combined ores. That is a fair amount of there's a how many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen new ingots. So let's go down the list one. Uh, I'll go down the list one by one. I just, but well, yeah, uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, weapons, utilities, and armor. So there's the abyssalite ingot. Which is a diamond and neverite ingot. Well, I don't have neverite ingots, so give at p neverite ingot sixty four. Boom and diamonds. Let's guess deck of diamonds. Because I am rich. I suppose I've not used more diamonds in these add-ons. Like, don't uh, with Java, it see, seemed like everything needed diamonds. Uh, but with this, it just not the same. Actually, can you can I do this in my in my inventory? Yes, I can. And we get epistle ingots. And that unlocks all the recipes for the Abyssal Ingots. And then we've got the Aurora, Aurora Ingot, which is gold plus emeralds. So if we go into my valuables, stack of gold, and a stack of emeralds. Bind them together, get the Aurora thing got. Next up is Copper Diamond Ingot. So I guess that's Copper and Diamond. Yeah, Copper and Diamond. Let's get a stack each. Diamonds. And we've got copper. Where's ah there it is. Get a stack of copper. Whopper whopper copper. And combine them together. Gives us copper ideas to diamonds. Next up is copper emerald ingot, which is copper and emerald. Yep. So grab another stack of copper. Why do I have two of them? Uh, they can just go in there. Because they're not needed for the video. Actually, I'll just... Uh, 
Wait, what was I making again? Copper emerald, yes. Oh, I'm running a bit low on emeralds. Yeah, I have a ton of villagers I could just go trade and get Oh, wow. Okay, coverized emerald ingots. Next is copper gold. I need more copper. There it is. Oh, no. There we are. Keep it expensive, and you. This gives me a good time to show off my super smelter. It's a basic super smelter, but it does the job. It's not going to take long to filter down. Now you send the minecarts off. Not even going to need an entire go through. Get this done. Oof. And just wait a bit. There I got enough gold. To craft up the capitalized gold and guts. Yeah. Next up is copperized iron ingot. The two ingots I have the most of. One because I got a bunch of copper because copper is uh, just super common, and I got a bunch of iron because iron. I have an iron farm. I well, it was quite good, but it's like a bit weird, just like working, then not working, then working again, and then stopping working. It's weird. There is a stack of iron blocks. Uh, I just need a stack of copper and a stack of iron. Copperized iron ingot. Right, next. We've got coppered netherite. They really like copper in this mod pack. Um, or mod. No, mod pack. Yeah, the mod pack is a, is a bunch of mods all together. This is just one. Uh, never eat. Got a couple of ice, never eat. Emerald Diam Ingot, which is iron ingot and nerd. Iron ingot plus never eat ingot wouldn't. I think they have made a mistake here. Neverite plus iron is never forging it, not emeriting it. So I'm guessing emeriting it is emeralds plus something else. I'm gonna give, just give myself a FP emerald 64. Emerald. 
There you go. Emerald and Gum. Yeah, iron and the emeralds, not never item emeralds. Or it might have been iron and emeralds. But I'm just making sure. I don't know why I'm in the craft table. And there we go. Emerald Diamond Ingot. Emerald Diamond Ingot. Gem Steel Ingot, which is diamond and iron. Diamond and I am oh wait oh Oop. I might have made a few too many iron ingots. Oh, I got gem steel. Was after gem steel, gold steel. With it would be a good idea to read gold steel, golden iron. Yeah. Well, steel. Yeah. Iron. Well, iron is. Well, steel isn't um, iron. Come on, give at p gold ingot sixty four. Uh, gold isn't iron. I mean, no. Obviously, gold's not iron. Uh, iron and steel are the same thing. Steel is iron mixed with carbon, uh, which uh, is primarily, you know, going from coal. So not the same. They're done. Gold steel never forging it. Which is iron ingot and never right. Which I think I already got. Yeah, never forging gut. So. Let me just put that there. So, yeah, they made a mistake there with the uh, MOL DM ingot. Giving out the never forging gut recipe. I'm not really giving you the MOL DM ingot, but you can probably work it out yourself. Looks alright, looks alright. Golden diamond, looks alright. Gold. Need more diamonds. Got never gem ingot, which is emerald and never item got. Gold emerald, never eight. And we have never gem ingot. Oh my, hopefully not too many more to go. Yeah, no. Never gemming it. Yeah, just got two more. Prismatic and the uh, Pyronite. Prismatic is emerald and diamond. Emerald. Even us Prismatic ingot. And last but not least, Pyronite. Golden Neverite. Let me just empty my inventory real quick. And we'll get the Golden Neverite. Neverite. Gold. And got one uh, Pyronite ingot. One stack. There we go. Yeah. 
many doors to explore. I'm also going to do, real quick, I'm going to give at P armor. Ah, there it is. Armor stand 64. I'm going to want a few of these. I'm going to create up a bunch of stuff. Right. So let's take a look at the weapons and utilities first. So there's swords, axes, cha chakram, staffs, blasters, hammers, shovels, pickaxes, and hoes. Wow, this adds a lot of stuff. So we have swords. All swords follow the vanilla crafting recipes. What did the Minecraft sword say after defeating a horde of zombies? That was cutting edge performance. Okay. And we've got all the different swords and what they look like. The crafting recipe, abyssal ingots and sticks. And they all have abilities. Okay. So let me get a bunch of sticks and craft up a bunch of swords. Uh, sticks. Grab a stack of sticks. Uh, do I have... Alright, craft the table's over there. Alright, the Iron Farm's deciding to work today. Uh, we're gonna go do this away from the dragons. Let's do this over here. Cause I am running out of space in my base to do this kind of stuff. Oh, this is where I'd like an automatic goat horn thing. I just like stood on the uh, honey block. And when the goat ran me, it would automatically pull me out of the way and the goat would hit the wall behind me. It's a bit of a pain in the bum to figure out. And we've got a Mimic. Alright. Uh, just slap down the crafting table. Uh, get rid of that. Right, swords. First let's do the Abyssal Ingot Sword. The Abyssite Sword. Um, give a piece on this. Why did I do that? How much damage does this sword do? 13 attack damage. Actually, let me take my arm off. So I don't just one shot everything. With my strength buff. Yeah, that's 13 on Enchanted, where the Myth Spear does 14 with sharpness. And he's frozen. Can't move. Oh, it's only for a short time now. And now he's dead. Uh, I'm going to want to... Actually, I can just... I will want a chest later. So... Let's get an armor stand here. Thunder and lightning very, very far. None me. Next up is the Aurorite Ingot. This one does 11 attack damage. I mean, most monsters have uh, 20 HP, so this is two shots of missing. Okay, what does that do? Okay, book time! Swords! Alright! Drop EXP when hitting a mob! Oh! So. Oh yeah, see a little bit of XP. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I'm gonna put my arm on an armor stand there because it's missing, it's missing on my inventory. Alright, yeah.
There we are. Right. Next up is the Copper Eyes, the Diamond Sword. Does 9 attack damage, which is fair because 2 diamonds does 7 attack damage and you can't even make a proper sword. Let's see. Ah. Uh, does this not do anything special? Swords. Copper Eyes, Diamond. Right click to gain resistance effect and knock back near mobs. Oh. Uh, huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah! It has a cooldown. There we go. And it does damage to mobs. Neat. Let's get you on an armor stand. I think the uh I should probably be talking about yeah. This is definitely the strongest, the uh, Abyssal Inger, but I'm pretty sure that's like Never item Diamond. Uh, this would be good for like EXP farms. Uh, to gain a little bit more EXP, and that would be. That is, that is decent, because it is just copper and diamond, so it's not super expensive. Maybe if the resistance lasted a little bit longer, I think that would be definitely more of a. Uh, but a more. So yeah. Uh, Copper eyes uh, emerald ingot does sword does ten damage, which is one less than the diamond one, which is also fair. Uh, I think. Let's see. Oh, it poisons them. So is it just poison? Swords. Copper eyes emerald. Deals poison to enemies when hit, yeah. Basic, but it is good. Uh, is a good effect. Hold on, I want to summon a zombie real quick. Summon... Zom... Zombie. Because, is this vanilla poison? No, okay, it's not vanilla poison, because if it was vanilla poison, then uh, hostile mo uh, undead mods would be healed by it instead of damage. Also, I have noticed that these don't have durability. Which is say uh, well, this means you don't need to get mending, I suppose. Next up is copperized gold. So this does eight attack damage. It is copper and gold, so can't really complain. Dab. Hmm. Oh, it gives me resistance, which is pretty, which is pretty good because uh, resistance is special. Is it just run out? Yeah, it's. It, yeah, you just need to hold it to get resistance, and uh, resistance is a really good potion effect. Uh, so yeah, ah, I got an itchy hand. So, yeah, that's a, that's actually a pretty good sword. Just for copper, bare copper and bare, bare gold, does 8 attack damage unenchanted. Uh, I will see later on if we can enchant all these. Uh, but right now I just want to get through all of them and... Uh, yeah, so next up is Copperized Iron. Sword. Let's get a village in here. Stab it up. Oh, he's now a witch! Okay, he strikes him with lightning. And I die because of the lightning. Okay. We were going, we were doing so well with good swords and then it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Right, so if you have not seen my review of the Dragon's Mod. This is not the first mod to add a sword that uh, will um, strike your foes with lightning.
The uh, there is several. Well, not several. There is multiple swords in the uh, dragons mod that does the same. And as you can see there, it can be quite negative for the user of the sword because they will take damage from the lightning strikes. But unlike the dragons mod, this is vanilla lightning. Uh, that is basically being used, which, um, you know, uh, which the other, uh, which with the dragons, dragon mod, they use like a special uh, lightning uh, that they made. So this does actually change up my recommendation slightly. This will have more uses than in the dragons mod. Because uh, you can use it to make charge creepers, witches, and um, as you saw there, and it, uh, you know any other mob that uh, you know needs to be struck by lightning to do a special thing. But for regular combat use, I would not recommend it at all. Because as you can see there, I died real quick because of it. Mind you, I was not wearing ar any armor, so maybe if you wore some armor, it might not be as uh, negative, you know, as bad. Uh, give a people apple. I just want a gold apple. Is it gold then? Yeah, golden apple. Sixty-four. So I can eat and heal myself up. So yeah, like I said, it does have uses outside of combat, but I really would not recommend it outside of just um, outside of just like getting the charged creepers without the without the need of a uh, thunderstorm. And a channel and trident. Like I said, having armor would probably protect you a bit, but I just don't like. Um, I just don't like the idea of a sword that deals damage to you. Like if you like it, you could probably use it, and maybe you might get more use out of it uh, than uh, I would. I'm thinking that you would, but I very much doubt it, like, yeah, that kind of thing's just not very good. I don't know why mod, like, oh, well, I know why they keep putting them at, uh, I don't make us put them in the, in their right ones, because it's cool, it is cool. Like, being able to just, like, strike a foes with lightning looks cool, but it just does not work. Anyway, i got to reorganise all the ingots now, because I died. So I'll be back in a minute. Well, probably longer than a minute. That's why I'm ending this. If it was only a minute, uh, I would just record it, and it's already been 28 minutes. Hey, time back. I've got everything reorganised, so now we're doing the copyright and never a pet sword. Let's see what you do. Oh. Oh. Oh, so how much attack damage does it do? 11 attack damage. It spawns ores. Oh, I got diamond ore. And it's regular diamond ore. That's like one of the rare... That is like... Combat, as well as M, uh, Deep Slate Emerald, the regular diamond ore is like the, the rarest diamond... Uh, the rarest ore in the game. And uh, Deep Slate Copper is pretty rare. So yeah, you right click. It's infinite ores. This was neverite and diamond. Uh, I uh, neverite, copperite. Ne oh no, copper and neverite. Huh? I thought those would have been like copper, uh, uh, neverite, and uh, emerald, or neverite and diamond. But ah, copperite, neverite. That is pretty strong. It gives you resistance and fire resistance. Wow. Okay, this is pretty strong. It is random, you are going to get a bunch of random stuff, and but yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, does it do anything special when attacking? Nope, just stabs them. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, copper and never right. Next up 
is the MOL Stadium Sword. Does 10 attack damage. Oh, gives me regen when I right click. Get back here, you. Get stabbed. And it doesn't do anything for an attacking, especially when attacking. Yeah, regen, especially in like uh, Bedrock, because Bedrock has slow uh, regen. But if I fly up real quick and take some damage. Wee! Now right click. Oh yeah, that is now honestly. Just because it's Bedrock, I would very re I would very much recommend this sword. Just because Bedrock and Regen is slow. That that is that is uh like uh I did mention this in the uh magic spells add-on, but I was re I am really like kinda disappointed that the magic spells add-on didn't add any uh, healing spells. Like the because that would have been really nice to have a healing spell. Like just like healing circle, you place it down, it heals you for heals you in that area. And it's uh, there for a few seconds or whatever. Anyway. Uh gem steel is next. It does nine attack damage. Oh! Oh, Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Can I do a multiple of them? Oh, yes! Get back here, you. Oh, ho, ho. Not gonna escape my blade. Okay, that, that is fun. N not super useful. Like, maybe with Enderman. Enderman likes to teleport away, so you could use it on an Enderman, maybe. But. They did teleport on a lot, so maybe not. Um, but that is fun. Uh, next up is the gold stealing got. And the gold steel sword. Eight attack damage. It's gold and iron, so I wasn't expecting much. Huh. Sonic Boom! So uh, how much? So that's four hits, I think. So five hits. Yeah, not a ton of damage, but it is. It is basically an unlimited range attack, and <laughs> the dragons don't even know that it's me attacking them, so they're not attacking me back. There's a bit. You could probably cheese it, cheese some mobs a bit, so that's uh, like neutral. Like, uh, let's get some uh, on the zombie. Zombie Pigman, let's get a few of these guys in here. If I right click. Oh, <laughs> I, got, I accidentally got the donkey, but yeah. Uh, it, they don't recognize that it's me attacking them. So they're not aggroing onto me. And also pushes them back, this is. This is pretty strong! It's not super strong as the air, though. If I hit them now, they're all going to attack me. I'm going to just push them away. Oh, if anyone, if anyone watching has seen Skyrim, this reminds me of the uh, Fusuda. It seems like they don't. I don't know why they stop taking damage from it, though. Oh boy, I am low on health. Oh, let's use the, uh, the, uh, regen sword to heal me up. It's a green one, wasn't it? Here we go. Yeah! Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, we could do it. Just go around and go, Fushoda! Fushoda! That's funny. Um, next is Never Forge Ingot. Never Forge. Okay. Oh, it sets stuff on fire. Not my armor, not my armor. 
Be careful of misclicking with this in your base. If I go over here... It doesn't recognize the, uh, oh, it, did. it didn't recognize that dragon, but it did recognize that dragon as an entity. Weird. Hill's chest is real good. And it does 11 attack damage. Yeah, pretty good. No, 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 all of them. I was just trying to get the mimic. At least I didn't lose any of the swords. Okay, let me. Yeah. Let me. I'll be right back. I'm just going to sort this mess out. Uh, okay, I got all the uh, armor stands and swords sorted out again. Yeah, be very careful with that sword. You will set everything on fire. Especially if you live in a wooden house. Looks right. Then attack damage. Mm, doesn't have a right click, so it must have a stab. Stab. Ah. Looks right. Ten attack damage. It doesn't a fair bit of weapon. Swords. Looks right. Gain random positive mobs effect when how? Oh, you. Get potion effects. No. Oh yeah, look now I got regen. So at random points in time you will get a random effect, I guess. Yeah, that could be fun. Yes. And now I've got resist oh no, it's not random, so it didn't give it to me before for some reason, but it gives me it'll give you a random potion effect for a random amount of time. But yeah, this could give you any push effects, so it could be, so if that regen and resistance, I guess it could also be like, fire resistant, oh, got regen again. Well, I guess it could just be like any, uh, any old effect in the game. Next we have Never Jam. Whoa! Oh, come on! Never jam. Right click to not buy. Yep. And it does 14, okay, 14 attack damage real good, but... Again, it's got the right click that will screw everything up. Oh, and I'll be back again because this needs sorting out again. Okay, now for the last two swords. The uh, prismatic sword. And the Pyronite Sword. I'm going to move away this time because I don't want... <laughs> Gave me strength. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to give me strength all the time. And it does 12 attack damage. So yeah, strength. Probably one shot tip any vanilla mob. Yeah, that's pretty good. And now Pyronite. Whoa! Okay. Whee. You go forward very fast and you leave a block of fire behind. 
could do without the block of fire. But that's still pretty cool. Does it do damage? Uh, oh, so how much? 12 attack down. So I doubt the uh, doing that will do any damage. So let's try out. No. Now let's try out on a villager. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does set them on fire if you dash through them. And let's get a couple of these dudes down. Boom. Boom! That's all of the swords. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is give myself a two more chest. Because we're going to move on to the uh, other stuff. And I'm not going to have enough answers. That's also, I need to eat. I should put some food there. Ah, oh, it doesn't give you a lot of food. Anyway. So, next up in the weapons and utilities are axes. All well, axes follow the crafting recipe. Why did the uh, Minecraft axe break up with the shovel? It felt like their relationship was just too dull. So, I've got axes. Do they have any special effects? Oh yeah, right. Ah. So I assume the axes and swords. Oh, that freezes when they when you hit them. Okay. So let's get one, two, three. 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 Let's get three of each ingot real quick. Oh, that's one too many. Need 30 sticks. I need more sticks by the end of this. Axe. So first we have the abyssal axe. Uh, hold on. Give happy burn meal bone. Meal sixty four. Give at P O A K. That on that. Uh, of sapling. And it's a big messy one. Yeah, just the normal axe. Mine's a little bit slow. This is abyssal, isn't it? That isn't that diamond and neverite. Does twelve attack damage, and you just right click to slow mobs and that's near you. Freeze mobs are near you. Yeah, honestly, not super good. Like I could, I feel like this should be uh, faster at mining. Like, uh, it does give you resistance and fire resistance, just like this one. But yeah, it's just a bit slow when mining, because if I get... Let me get my... Give... At P... Diamond... At... It's about as fast as a diamond axe. But I'm pretty sure this was diamond and never I so... Yeah, it should be faster, in my opinion. But if, uh, if Mojang ever decide to add the uh, combat changes, that might be good for like being attacked. Anyway, all right, ten attack damage. Uh, 
Ah. You bit of the XP. Just spawns a little bit of the XP every time you right click. Uh, mining's still a bit slow. Not really recommend. And yeah, if you have tree capitator from the uh from the utilities mod there, it's not too much trouble, but then if you have the utilities mod you can just make the young lighter, which is much faster. Uh copper ice diamond. If I right click. Uh let me check. I'm pretty sure that heals. Yeah, no. Where is Diamond? Uh, game resistance and knockback nearby mobs. And it might still a bit slow. Next is the Coppered em Copper Emerald. This is better! Yes! It's nice and quick! Why is the copper emerald so quick? Yeah, and it's still poisonous. Oh, I feel bad for poisoning a baby dragon. Anyway. Into the chest review. They're definitely the best axe so far, even though it only does 9 attack damage, it's still the best because it, you know, in, you're mainly going to be using it for mining and not really attacking. Copper gold! And we're back to slow pickaxe. Slow axes. Huh. Oh, and you can strip logs with these, apparently. Yeah, that's fine, not too much trouble. This was copper gold, right? Oh, gain resistance when hitting on so it's, so it's the same as regular, just gain resistance when hitting. Yep. Not very good. And only 7 attack damage. Yeah, that's the worst so far. Slow mining speed. Not much attack damage. But copper gold super, is cheap, so I guess that is kind of the trade-off. Copper iron. I'm going to end up getting struck by lightning. And it's still slow. Okay, here's a right click effect. Alright, right click, and they get shot by lightning. Honestly, this is bad because you can right click to do it, so you don't have to be near them uh, to use it. But, eh, uh, it's not the worst, but not really very good. Next up is Copper Eyes Neverite. Doesn't have a right click effect. Slow mining speed. And let's go hit something with it. Hi sheep. It's giving me ores when I hit stuff with it. This was originally a right click effect. Why did they change it to be a hitting effect? And I guess this is actually better because you just yeah, a bunch from just like hitting stuff with it. Or you can get never right from it. Neat. So if you have like a mob farm, you could double it as an ore farm and just whack things with it there. So yeah, actually that's pretty good. Not very good as an axe, but 
the effect, the uh, secondary effect is better than the uh, than the, its pickaxe counterpart, in my opinion, because it you can just spam it into the chest. Got the emeraldium. When I right click, it does nothing. When I left click, it slowly mines the tree. And there is a. I thought it snapped it out of existence for a minute then. And when I hit a mob of it, it heals me. That's actually not, that's actually not bad healing that. An axe that heals you when you hit something. Does it work with an armor stand? Yeah! So you can like set up armor stands as like a healing... Uh, as like a healing uh, station. Then we have the gem steel axe. When I right click, it does something. I'm gonna have to test it. And slow mining speed. Oh, it sucks him into me. Yeah, it does. Does he attack damage? Eh. Yeah. It's only one more than a diamond sword, which... Eh. Yeah. Don't mean it like that. Got the gold steel. Yeah. You got the Fusridar. And slow... Whoa. It's not slow, slow like uh, there are slower axes you can get, but it is like for what for what it costs, it's slow. I should definitely uh, increase the mining speed of the axes. Uh, the add-ons do get updates, and that might be a thing they do in the future. And I would and. Uh, if by some miracle they are watching this, I would highly recommend them to increase the mining speed, especially for like the never from the most more expensive ones. Like, have like the ones I like, netherite and the, the diamonds. So make them like mine logs instantly. That would be nice. Uh, this no right click effect. Oh yeah, it's giving me resistance, fire resistance, and absorption. Oh yeah. Oh wait, now I think we absorb. Nah, hold on, I forgot I ate the other one. Give that P milk bucket. Okay, again. Huh. Thank you. Ah, set some on fire. That's not really very good because um like there was like a uh armor set and sword that did that same thing in the uh dragon set. And um if I just uh, get a chest real quick. I put the villager on top of the chest and I hit him. Okay, okay, so this is smarter than the Dragon's Mod because the Dragon's Mod would have replaced that chest with a, a fire block. So, uh, I think what it's doing is, is that the Dragon's Mod is using the replace command and to put out their feet where the uh, the fill commanded where the or something and then like this one's using like set block or something. Maybe, I don't know. I think there's one that uh, won't replace the blocks. Uh, anyway, Luxurious Axe. My click does nothing. Mining is uh, as slow as the rest. And bonking something. Ah. Oh yeah, this is the one that gives you a random potion effect. Does this one do it when you when you hit something? I think. Weapons, axes. Luxure. I wanna look. 
Looks right. Game random pause of when how? Oh, okay, it's just when how. It's not when hitting. That goes in there. I mean, if, it, if you can get a haste from that, so it could up your mining speed. But that's very RNG dependent. Uh, never jam. Come on, be decent mining speed. Ah, oh, goddamn it. And I right click. There's nothing. Punching pushes them away. That's not really very helpful. Right. On to the next one. I think it also does a little bit of damage. How much damage? They push, nah, it does 15 damage, so I don't know if the push does any extra damage. I don't think so. So I'm just going to go with new. And we've got Prismatic. Mining speed, same as most of them, except for like that one that was faster. I whack something away, it does nothing. I right click, gives me strength. With 11 attack damage, that's pretty much going to one-shot anything. Last but not least, we have the Pyronite Axe. Mining speed. Same as almost all the others. I right-click, and it suits me forward. And, um, so yeah, it's the sword, and it basically the sword that it can mine blocks, and it does 11 tech damage. Mine wood blocks. It would be cool if they had a unique effect, to, and you know, they did something to the tree instead. Like when you mine the block, like maybe some of them have tree capitator or something, I don't know. They just kind of seem underwhelming. Or what they are. <laughs> right, now on to Chakrams. Uh, throw Chakram, but make sure to catch them back. What did the player say after defeating enemies with a Chakram? That was a well-rounded strategy. So Chakrams. Abyss ingots, and two ingots and one stick. So uh, let's get these. And I need 15 sticks. So these cost as much as a sword, basically. Yeah, these are basically, uh, well, cost-wise, swords, but for the uh, ranged. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I've also got tears, but this stone, so Abyssal Chakram, 11 attack damage. So you right click to throw it. Oh, and it comes back to you. You can charge it up. Hey. Does it do more damage if you... The dragon was not happy about that. Oh yeah, this one freezes them in place, doesn't it? I love how the dragon attacks the Chakram when you attack it with it. Does it do damage on the return flight? Nope. And could I lose it? So I throw it and then I run away. Nope, it's basically a loyalty trident. And it does 11 attack damage. 
So I'm guessing these will all have like the same effects as their uh, sword and axe counterparts. Next is the Aurorite. A little bit of bonus XP. It does 9 attack damage. Ooh, I want to check. So, if I charge it up more, does that make it favor? Hmm, I think it did go a little bit favor, but I don't think. Hold on. So, just click. And then charge. Nah, about the same, I think. If there's any just difference is not really noticeable. Then we have the copper diamond check one. Gives you resistance. This one's not as good because if you fire from a range, you're not really gonna need resistance as much. How much damage does it do? Seven. Ooh. Uh. <gasps> oh, I am again. He got some bits now. Copper emerald to get from. Throw it. And it poisons them. Just as good as uh, the sword because yeah, you poison them, and it does eight attack damage. Hold on, one two three four, one two three four. This does ten attack damage. So they do do they do do a little bit less attack damage by the looks of it. And if you want, you can compare all of them. Yeah, copper gold does six. I missed. Yeah, resistance, like I said. That's useful when you're using a uh, projectile because you're not going to be really taking any damage. Oh. You there. Next up is copperized iron. Now this one I was, uh, uh, I'm actually excited to try out because if I remember this is someone that strikes him with lightning. If the villager would stay still that would be great. Also how much damage does it do? Five. Yeah, okay! A range, a range weapon that does lightning damage, finally! Ah, yeah, this is great. I mean, if you're worried about getting the drops, are uh, not super recommendable. Uh, I don't know if it, how it would work on a flying mob though. Let's uh, summon a guest over here. Summon guest. Yeah. Also, why do guys want you 50 feet in the air? Yeah, I don't think you're going to... If you're using this, I don't... Well, that's annoying. I don't think you're really going to be getting mob drops from it. There's no more TNT. Um, so that is a downside to it, but it is... Uh, but you... Uh, could use it just for the simple coolness factor if you're not super worried about getting the drops. No, go away. Oh, I gotta go get a sword. Give me the sword. Give me. Give. There we go. Boom. And how many is in my grave?
Uh, don't think, yeah, I don't think my inventory was messed up really bad because of how empty it was. Yeah, I found any no sticks. The sticks seem to be... Yeah, let's calculate how many sticks this takes. Oh, not much calculate, I probably just misread the book. Next up is the cup. Oh yeah, it's two sticks here. Yeah, uh, let's get that and put that in the chest and I'll give myself 15 more sticks. Give at peace stick 15. There we go. Right, Copper Eyes never right. It does 9 attack damage. When you throw it, it spawns on them. This is the least useful. Oh, it does do damage on the return. Okay. Uh, this is the least useful of the. Uh, of the, like, never. Copper Eyes never right stuff. Because. You know, like, if you're attacking that means you're probably. Like, if you're like attacking a blaze and it's above lava, then it's gonna, that stuff's just gonna drop into lava. So, no, no, it's useful. Like, again, I would just use the axe if you wanna get stuff like that. I mean, uh, Emerald Dadium Chakram. The sword only does on the right click, I think. I think the sword and the uh, axe's ability should be sort of well, maybe. So, this is the Emerald one uh, Emerald Dadium. I don't know what this one does. Stop running away, you coward! It tells me that it hit, but what? Uh, open some uh, chakra. A, B, C, D, E, E, R, B. Gain regeneration effects when I hit them all. Ah. That's what it does. Next up is gem steel. Ah, oh, teleport sent to you. Oh, that's actually pretty uh, cool because if you have like a sword on you, then you can teleport them to you with it, and uh, with that, and then finish them off with your sword or axe, or whatever you want to use. Also, I'm just going to drop them there. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Also, again, if a blaze is like hovering over a lava and you need the blaze rods, you can just teleport them to you and kill them and get the blaze rods. Yeah, that's pretty, that has a use. Gold steel charm. Huh. And it does the sonic. <laughs> yeah, it just does the sonic. Boom! It does have a it does have a use over the sword sign boom because uh, this goes even further, so it's even more long range. Where I think the sword one's more mid range, technically speaking, than long range. So both are useful. Then we've got the Neverforge charm, Jack Crap, Jack Crap, whatever they're called. Spinny disc thing, go! Set them on fire. At least it's not saying my armor stands on fire. Did set my donkey on fire though. Donkey! Donkey died. No one tells Shrek. You'll be devastated. Love Shrek. Whoosh. Give me jump boost. Oh yeah, it gives me a random effect if I hit something. Speed and strength. 
Yeah, random effects when you hear them up. A bit. Um, I do think these are worth making because um, while they are less attack damage, uh, they are ranged. So you're getting 12 ranged attack damage. What does this one do? Oh, it pushes them back. I mean, that is pretty good for a range weapon, pushing them back. But then you have like the problem with like blazes and being over lava, and you push them over lava, and then the blaze will drop into lava. So, not super useful, but pretty good if you're like fighting like zombies or skeletons or stuff like that. Prismatic charm, or with the skeletons, definitely useful for them. Kill the child. Stab you in the face. Yeah, got ya. Still the thing. Oh, gave me resistance when hitting him. Again, resistance. Useful for swords, not so much for ranged weapons. And last but not least, the pyro one. Now, I'm actually curious to see what this one does, because the sword and axe charges you for does this. Yep. And I'm on fire. Yeah, it leaves a blazing trail behind it. Do not use this in the forest. Or near your... Bamboo farm that is partly made out of leaves. Because it'll probably burn it out. Can I burn the tree? Yes, I can. Useful for setting fires and stuff, though. But... Ow! And yourself. It would be nice if it didn't set me on fire. Is all I'm saying. Mm. It is fun to burn stuff down a bit. Ah, I'm on fire. No. I'm... Ah, uh, much better. So yeah, if you're using this, you might want a fire resist potion. And you do. I'm sure the armors might give you like fire resist or something. <laughs> right. Next up on the weapons and utilities list is staffs. Charge the spell until uh, particles become solid, then release them to shoot. What did the staff say when it got enchanted? I feel spelltacular. <laughs> uh, uh, how do I craft a staff? Staff. Uh, two sticks, three ingots. Two sticks, three ingots. One, two, three. 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 And. One, two, three. I was gonna shift click, but then I realized it would go into my hotbar. One, two, three. 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 There's the Abyssal Staff. Ten attack damage. Yeah, Villagenia. Yep, yeah. range, frozen. Okay, so. When it turns right, you release. Okay, so it's a bit of charge, range attack. 
Oh, not really range. Oh, uh, well, it is range, but it's not like long range, it's more like mid range. Now let's check the sword. How much did that sword do? Sword does 13, so it does a little bit less than the sword. I think it should do just as much as the sword or have less of a cool uh, charge up time. So I think having the lower attack damage and the longer chat and the charge up time Makes them kinda not super good. I think just like either reducing charge of time or increasing the damage to magic swords would definitely make these much more worth it. Except for that lightning sword, this is definitely gonna be better than the Oh, this one seems to be much more long wing. Oh no. Seems to go here though. Guess not. They do get a sound effect when it uh, is fully charged, you get the VOOM! And you get the copper. Diamond. Oh, come on! Well. At least it does something unique! If only that unique thing wasn't blowing a massive hole in the ground! Now there's a big hole here! I've got a lot of repairing to do after this video. Why did this have to be the first one of this recording session? Yeah well, I'll repair that after the video and in between the next one. Right, copper emerald. Village in the hole. Charge up the attack. That's mildly annoying. How far does this go? Does it even go super duper far? I mean, it is super powerful. It's also super destructive, is the problem. I'm low on health. Also, I'm pretty sure the attack rating on this as well because it does way more than 7 attack damage. Copper Gold Staff. I'm going to need my floating spell to get out of this hole eventually. A levitation spell. Okay, this one's not as destructive. <laughs> Wolf went up in flames. What? That's weird. Anyway, Cowboy's Iron Staff! This is the one that strikes lightning! 
in the hole. Aww. I don't think anything happens when baby villagers are struck by the lightning. Because it's not baby witches. There should be baby witches. Oh no, they just turn into regular witches. Copperized iron sword. It's a copperized iron sword would just kill you, but eh. I think I'd uh, prefer. I think I'd probably go with the chakram that material if I if I had to use any of them. Otherwise, never right. Do you still take a bit of damage from the uh, one? And it doesn't do that much damage. Right how cool it looks. He's dead. So this does matter. Yeah, I think the uh, the uh, attack damages uh, I think that killed him in one shot, which means it did at least twenty damage to him. So next up we have the Emerald Diver Staff. I'm running a villagers to slaughter and maim. Gave me the death. Uh, I get him. Again, bed, because it's bedrock regen's good, but uh, I go with like the other two. Like the sword or the uh, uh, chakra. Chakra for that. Uh, gem steel. It teleports them to you. Oh, it also does damage. Again, if you want to get an enemy that's far away from you to, to you, just use the uh, chakram for that. These stats are a bit uh, disappointing. All things considered. Oh. Yes, yeah, just the sweet boom again. Oh, well, this time if it hits, it does uh, way more damage than it sets fires and blows. Okay. At least it does something on top of like what the other two, what the other ones did. Nova Forge. This hole's getting deeper and deeper by the minute. Undig my hole. Anyway. Obscure the old YouTube references aside. I'm a blast here. It went kaboom. It's <laughs> well, you know, half of these effects are just big explosion. So it it does limit their usefulness as a weapon when it just blows everything the fuck up. Hey. Right. Just give me stuff.
Yeah, you make big, it makes big hole basically. I don't know, dude. Maybe it does more damage when you hit some a bit. Anyway, next, I need to go an apple just in case someone blows me up as well. Uh, this one's just going to give me a random potion effect if I hit, isn't it? Yep! Oh, it gave me Hero of the Village. We I mean, two shot him, so it does at least 10 damage. Maybe the uh, attack damage there is just like what you do when you hit them with it. Like punch. And not what the magic and range stuff does. Anyway. Uh, nef. Nef a gem. Nef a gem. Nef a uh, uh, It blows them up! Who would have thunk it? Certainly not me, it's not like the last, like, it's not like, like five of these staffs make a big explosion. Anyway. Prismatic staff. I'm charging my duck and boom. It just poisons out. It's only strong poison though. Can you not be poisoned? Oh no, they can. And dead. And I would be interested to see what the staff does because of like what the other two effects were, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna set everything on fire and all explode. Yep, yeah, I was right. Okay, that's the staffs done. I even onto the ah blasters, hammers, shovels, pickaxes. So we still got a lot to go. This is going to be a very long video. Let's go to the blaster. Uh, shoot a unique projectile. Why did uh, the Minecraft player choose a blaster over a bow? Because it was a blast. <laughs> All right, how do I craft a blaster? It is three ingots, two sticks. That's it, probably. That and I don't really care if this is going to be rain, so I don't think I'm going to die. There's a deep hole, well, boom. Oh. A little bit of disappointing animation. Did I saw one too? Maybe just close one or two. Yeah. Yeah, it freezes them. Which is pretty good for a range weapon, freezing them. I'm gonna need two more chests though. Rat tat tat. Um, boom, 
Boom. Boom. Give that piece spawn bill. 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 Sixty-four. I've killed a lot of villagers today. Next to the all right. And it just drops a little bit of the XP when you hit something with it. Does this work with armor stands? Yep. Nope. Slow, you get free XP. Now, if we only could put stuff in our offhand, then we could use this to mend items. Oh well. We could use it to mend armor. Or bows and crossbows, but if you got that, you're not really using the crossbows or bows, are you? Right, next up is the uh, copper diamond blaster. Ah, oh, it's the sticks, that's right, okay. Yeah, I was just confused why all of them are the same. Gives you resistance. Again, not really useful if uh, you're using a ranged weapon. Uh, sticks. Not that one. All right, couple ways devil hold. <laughs> Just one shot him. So yeah, this is uh, poisons as well. It does, it did a ton of damage. It one shot the villager, that means it did at least 20 damage per shot. And then it poisons. Just annihilate everything. Okay, yeah, this is quite strong. Let's move on to the next one. Up a gold. Gives you strength. Huh? It also did a bit of damage to me. Stand still. So I can blast you. There we go. I need to eat and heal up. Next up. Is the copper... Copper iron. This one will strike them with lightning, probably. Huh. Yep. I think Kate killed the villager and turned it into the witch at the same time. Also, that's quite strong. Yeah, like I said, uh, lightning striking with a range weapon. Pretty damn cool. 
And uh, yeah, just don't make a copper iron sword. Otherwise, never right. Ah, oh, baby. Die, baby. Ah. Yeah. It, when you hear the image on seals, again. Not as good as the axe and not as good as the sword. Well, the axe is better than the sword. Because the sword, it's a right click. The axe, you just whack something with it and it activates. Which again, still think that it should be reversed. Anyway, Emerald. Emerald Aedium. Here, it gives you beat and you hit them. Ow. I somehow managed to do damage to myself. Yeah, any, again, any weapon that helps you regen in Minecraft Bedrock Edition is good, in my opinion. And you probably use it on the uh, armor stands. Gem steel. What happened to them? Oh, I just never took them out. <laughs> Don't know how I missed them. Oh, and this one just teleports in here and does damage. Next goal still, this is going to be the uh, Sonic Boom, but with a gun. Subject! And he's dead. I need to heal. And nom nom nom. Sonic boom, Sonic boom. Anyway, never forge blaster. Drop the verge into the hole and blast him away. Oh, one shot. I think he gave me regen when I hit him. Yeah, let's see. Let me just double check that, but I'm pretty sure I got regen when I hit him. Okay, let me check. What does the Neverforge Blaster do? Neverforge. Bane's enemies when hit. Ah. Oh, it's raining. That's why. Again, if you want the mob drops, you're not going to be using this. It is quite strong. Anyway, I... Something that destroys the mob loot can be as pretty much as strong as you want because you're not really gaining any benefit from killing them. Then we got the luxury blaster. I guess when I hit them, I get a random potion effect. Yeah. No fire. No way. I don't want to try. This is the problem of using villagers for target practice. Oh, let me. Oh, yeah, I gave me those two, I think, because they. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure they look. Oh, wait, I bet it's, it's not when it hits, it's when it's held, I bet. Let me just double check to make sure. When held, yeah. It should be when hit. Now, if it was one hit, then that would be really good because it's like bam, 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 and you get a bunch of pushing effects. That'd be cool. Anyway, another gem blaster. Huh. What does that do? Mm, uh, gem. 
Knock back him. Anyway. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, for range weapon, that's decent ability. Keeps them away. A blast a day keeps the enemies at bay. Prismatic blaster. I think this is random effect when it. I hmm? know oh, it just gives you resistance when hidden. Again, good for melee weapons, not good for range weapons. And last but not least, the permanent blaster, which is probably just gonna set everything on fire. <laughs> Lily. Yep. Lily! Lily, stop it. Come here, come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I live in a flock of flats and you just hear somebody like coming out of their doors because they. No, Lily, come here. Stop it. Stop. Oh. Right. Can I continue on now, Lily? So, uh, no, a little bit more attention, please. Oh, yeah, like that. Oh. There you go. Lots of buzz. No. Weapons and utilities! Stop! Hammer time! Smash those enemies away! Why did the Minecraft player bring a hammer to the adventure? To nail the competition! Hey! Um, and those are like the uh, hammers from the Dragon Mod. So, a bit. Three sticks, two ingers. And it does 14 damage. How much is that compared? To the sword again, because I think I'm pretty sure that's more than the sword. That's 14, 13, 14 years. One more damage. So, yeah, I'd probably use the extra stick to get an extra damage. Uh, so, let's see. Just gonna go in here and bonk a dude on the head. Oh, you right click to slow them down. Okay, I don't know why it's a right click ability and not just a hit them on the head ability like the swords. Right. Ah, oh, no, it's on um, moving. So the uh, company that owns the block of glass that lives in the gets one to Hoover and here the Hoover just barely that's what she's risen at. So if I right click, oh yeah, it just makes XP when I right click. Yeah, not really that good. The the blast is better because you just spam it and you get to bunch of XP's I got the uh, copper diamond pushes them away, not very good for a uh, melee weapon but if you're getting swarmed by a horde of monsters I guess it could be useful but this, that's not often it happens unless you, ac unless you accidentally hit a zombie pigment and you could use it to just like push stuff out of the way if they're in your way. Right here to then copper emerald. Poison Zam. Anyway. Oh, come on! Uh... 
Yeah, they didn't kill all of them this time. Just two. Alright, next up. There's a bunch of dragons here. Up at gold. Doesn't have a right click effect, and if I whack him with it, it gives me resistance. I, yeah, like I said, resistance really good for melee weapons, not really good for range weapons. Well, time to get struck by lightning again. Is it a right click effect? Yeah! I'm on fire! Yeah, again, lightning strikes, good for range weapons, not so much for showing. Man, you, it's a right click effect, so I don't need to hit them. So maybe you can just like have them down and then just go away. Yeah! Okay, it's better than. The the sword, at least, because you can right click to someone it is there, uh, having to hit, be right next to them and hitting them. So you can avoid taking damage from it. Next is Copper Eyes Neverite. Right click does nothing, hitting them. Oh, yeah, this is the one that. Uh, Spawn, see yours. Not these two credits, they turn old. Is the Emerald Adium. Huh. The gem, right click does nothing. Punching heals you. Again, with Micro Bedrock Slow Regen System. A weapon that helps you regen is quite nice. Anyway, it's not really Bedrock's regen system, it's Minecraft Java's old regen system before the combat update. We just never got to the new one because there was a big upcry about not liking combat update and all that. So anyway, Gemsteel. Yeah. Right click pulls them towards you. Get back here. Oh, oop. Didn't mean to hit the dragon. Where'd the villager go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, back here, you! <laughs> you you might my inventory as well. Oh, stuff. Next hammer is gold steel. So I just bonk him. No, right click is to use the sonic boom. Just like the sword. Can be a bit finicky with the damage area, but yeah, it's nice to have. Those are like skeletons. Lily! Oi! Yeah, my dog. Oi! Right, never forge. Click does nothing, punching. Uh, probably sets on fire, but it's 
Vainen. Where did he go? There you are. Yeah, it sets them on fire. And as I said previously, yeah, you're not going to get any drops from them. No way I shouldn't do that because he's right on top of the armor stone and I'll set the armor stone on fire. Looks right, this will. Yeah, when you hold it, you get random pushing effects, and thankfully, this time it gave me night vision. You weren't invited to this mod review. Anyway. That in there. What's after the luxurious summer? Never jam. Right click does nothing. Punching pushes them away. Not very good for a melee weapon. Prismatic! Right click poisons them. It gives me strength. Okay, that's really strong. Right. Ah, oh, didn't poison them that time. I wonder why. Oh well. Anyway, strength. Really good uh, for a melee weapon. There's a zombie river just somewhere. Anyway. And Pyronite. You zoom forward. Leaves fire behind you. Yeah, the same. As the other ones of its kind. Nothing much to say about that. Okay, represent utilities. Next is a shovel. All shovels follow vanilla crafting recipes. What do you call a shovel that's uh, good at solving mysteries? A detective. <laughs> anyway, shovel. Give us a light. Right click does nothing. It's not really very fast at mining. There's like there, shovels are like the fastest of the Yeah, I'm just gonna go through the I'm just gonna go through them off screen and then if like anything's different between any of them I'll uh, start again and tell you but I don't think I'm not gonna waste your time just like Crafting a bunch of shovels and it's like for them to just do the exact same thing. So I'll be back in a. Well, actually, they probably have an effect where if you hit something, they do there, the effects are there, or the kin. Let me just ch check that real quick. Villager, right click does nothing, and bonking him does nothing. Oh, well, actually, I can just check the. Book and it'll tell me if they are supposed to do anything. Nothing on utilities! Shovel. Bissel. Nope, not supposed to do anything by the looks of it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through with them. If they all have the same mining speed, we'll move quick. We'll quickly move on to the diamond pickaxes and do that. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, it's exactly as I thought. They all do the same, they all dig the same speed. Um, what I would recommend uh, for the uh, mod makers to do here is make it so that um, they, you know, they're faster at digging, definitely, because they're not that fast. Um, and I don't know, I don't really know what unique mechanic you, you could really add to shovels. 
I maybe make it so that they have, like, some of them have silk twitch and some of them have fortune by default, maybe? I don't know. Uh, next is the pickaxe, I believe. Pickaxes, which I believe, which is probably going to be the same uh, situation. Pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, then, uh, why did the skeleton use a wooden pickaxe? He couldn't afford a bone pickaxe. Yeah. I'll craft them up to show you, but uh, I'm gonna need another double chest. Pick. Alright, pickaxe. Hey, Emma, though. Yeah, they all seem to be the same speed. I'm not gonna bother going through all the pickaxes to see if they're all the same speed. I'm just gonna assume they are. Um, pickaxes, again, increase mining speed. Maybe make like the diamond and neverite one. So fast it can insta mine uh, deep slate, that would be cool. Because uh, insta mining is fun and you can't insta mine deep slate, so that would be nice. Um, yeah, or maybe digging a 3x3, three three, some, or maybe I like some of them digging a 3x3 like three three area or a 3x3x3 three 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 area uh, or something like that. and. Or like have like a fortune effect by default or silk effect or something, I don't know. And hose. Yeah, hose a hose. I'll show you the hose, but they're not gonna do anything different. Now I do have a idea for what they could do with hose actually. I'll save that for once I've got these all crafted up. Yeah, they just ho a single so my idea here is with these hoes they can hoe not, not only can they hoe a three by they should be able to hoe a three by three area but uh, when you uh, uh, hit a crop with them they will break a three by three area crop of that crop of the crops replant the crops of the same type that uh, uh, were there and to give you the you know crops to, so that so you know you crunch this it would break the area and replant the crops automatically and that would make farming so much easier and i think that would be cool to have as a hoe have on some hoes Maybe with like the fire ones, you can make it so that if you harvest uh, potatoes, uh, it instantly uh, makes them into baked potatoes. Alright, what's next on the list? Nothing! So now we go into the armor. Some armors need you to crouch to activate its abilities. Armors, uh, all armors are followed with another crafting recipes. Why don't armors ever get stressed? Because they're used to uh, used to handling uh, pressure plates. Uh, happy. Let's 
Now we have the Abyssal set. Three, four. So yeah, just dump them all in there. Probably be faster. They're a little bit worse than diamond, which is a bit annoying. Uh, okay. Oh, it's doing something. Okay, let's uh, read what the armor set does. Abyssal armor. Ability, full set. Gives slowness effect to mobs around. All armor follow the other question. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can see he's slowed down. Nito Burrito. Put you on there. I need to do golden apples to get my arms up. I need 24 ingots. Helmet, chest, leggings, and booties. Where's the booties? I don't need sticks on me. There we go, much easier. Combined all guys. Oh. Or dirt. Oh, it sparkles! I don't know what the sparkles do. Let's see. Armor. Alright. Drop the XP when getting hit. So, if I summon zombie, zombie, I just shift. I'm getting XP. Taking a fair bit of damage though. You get a fair bit of XP out of it. Now you should get a sword real quick. Yeah, I can put him to death. Stop stomping on my crops, you stupid dragons. Drossel, we all have XPs. Okay, next up. Is the... Copper Diamond. Helmet. Chest, leggings, boots. Boom, 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 boom. A uh, couple diamond. Full set give unlimited resistance effect. Sneak, knock some mobs around. Full armor. So yeah, I get to resistance. And it just push them around. Why, why are you running? Get back here, you. Dead. Yeah. Anyway, oh, he's making part sparkles when it's on the armor stand. Uh, pushing them away would be good. Is decent on an armor set because, um. You know, if you're, you know, if you don't want to know, you can just push them away. It's better than on the sword, at least, or a hammer, or whatever. Helmet, chest, leggings, boots. <laughs> you. What does this one do? What's this one again? Copper Emerald? Yeah, Copper Emerald. Uh, 
Immune to poison. Okay. Got the particles, which is nice. It means poison isn't bad. Especially if you're like in, on a PvP server. Yeesh. Got a gold helm, chest, leggings, and booties. Um, uh, Resistant. Oh, oh yeah. That is really good on an armor set, because you know the entire point of armor is to reduce damage. Um, but yeah, that's actually probably like the best armor, maybe. Well, it's probably going to be all like a strength. Well. Well, that's all swords and, and hammers that give you strength, so you probably have like armor that gives you resistance and the one that gives you strength, and then you'd be really powerful. Alright, so copper iron. Uh, immune to fire again, he'll. Uh, when strike by lightning bolt. Oh! Okay, so this actually makes uh, the lightning swords pretty good. I don't. Uh, it was actually the cut. Yes! Ah, so the armor and the sword are supposed to like. I um, suppose to like combine, combine together to be more. that you're more powerful with the entire set than if you're. than just with the sword. Okay, this makes the sword really good then. So yeah, once we get hit. Oh no, I'm being here, I'm taking damage. Damn! And now I'm healed. From the lightning. Okay, that is pretty good. I'm sorry, uh, copper, uh, copper dying sword, for speaking to you so harshly earlier. Maybe you're not so bad. Well, combined with your arm, combined with. If you've not got an armor like that, then you're not so good still. But with that armor, you're really good. Yeah, uh, copper now right in good. I don't have a weapon on me. A weapon on me. Ah. That was the annoying thing about dragons, is that. Uh, when they're attacking other things, they will sometimes accidentally attack you, and it's annoying, and I, well, I don't hate it, but it's annoying, and it's frustrating sometimes. I'm just happy that I emptied my inventory before that happened. I just need 24 ingots. 24, you go in there, you go there. Helmet, chest, leggings, boots. The boys never eyes. So let's see what this does. Uh, auto mines all around. Oh. Wait, so is this the one that. Copper uh, Devil, right? That's the one that. Uh, uh, let's get the hammer. So I can get some more. Copper Devil, right? So. Oh, was it not right click? Hmm. Oh, 
files, right? Oh no, it's a sword that was the right click, and that's why I preferred the hammer because you can just bash them and get a bunch of ores. Right, we got a bunch of ores now. Now, if I put this in the chest, place fall down. Oh, do I need to shift? Oh, you know work. Oh, that broke. Why you no break? Oh, ah! So I think I just need to hold. So if I just hold it, yeah. So are they gonna break? Is it randomly break? Hmm. It's not very good to be honest. Um, no, I'll put them there. Let me go out a pickaxe. Yeah, it was just like I don't know why it wasn't working. I it just it didn't give me any more information on that, so it's just like I don't know how to get it working properly. Not very good, in my opinion. If it like worked properly, it would be pretty good, and it would also like combo with the uh, sets of the items. But yeah, chest, leggings, booties, emeraldium gives you regen. Okay, this is really good. Regen. I would definitely add like if you're making the ammo, I'd either go for the resistance or the regen. And then for sword, go for strength. Head, chest, leggings, boots. Gem steel. Armor. Summon block black holes that pull mobs around when sneaking. Oh wait, I wanna get away from the armor stands because it'll pull the armor stands. If we go over here. It pushed the sheep into the wall, I think. I oh, know, the ground. Hmm. Didn't work with the dragon. Ah. Not great, really. Here we go. Alright. Now, helmet, gold steel, gold shield, leggings, and booties. What does gold steel do? Shoot 
shoot sonic blast in all directions when getting hit. All armor follows vanilla. So, let's you know, give that P zombie sixty four. Fire. Hmm, doesn't appear to be doing any damage. Which is disappointing. Not that, I wouldn't really recommend this because the Sonic Boots out from the armor don't do damage. If the Sonic Boots on the armor did damage, then I would recommend. Well, kind of recommend it. I would be like, yeah, if. If you want, it's not. I would say it's not a bad option, but being as I don't do damage, I'd say it's not a really good option. But I guess it's not a bad option because it does knock them back a bit, but it's more annoying than anything else, really. Minions and boots. Never forge. Um, uh, never forge. There it is. The meaning to fire being mobs around. Yeah, there you are on fire. Well, the problem is they're setting everything else on fire as well. And this will burn their drop, so not super duper useful. Like maybe if you're in the nether and you want an armor to protect you from fire? So I would probably like recommend just taking fire resist potions. I oh, did get one one flesh out of that. Oh no! No! Stupid armor! Wait, is it gonna do that when the armor's on the armor stand? See, stop burning. No, good. Looks in there. Oh, I did it in the wrong order! Oh well. I assume this is going to give me a random uh, uh, potion effect. Also, gain random positive effect when hit. Oh, it's only when hit. Oh, three that time. I got jump boost, night vision, and conduit. Water breathing and conduit power. Strength, water breathing, resistance, and no absorption. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of RNG, but it's alright. Like I said, like you saw, I got strength, so. Would be decent in a fight, but I probably just like make any other armor that gives me the potion effect I want, like strength, resistance, or regen. Head, chest, legs, boots. Never gram. Never gem. Okay, what does never gem do? Not back attacker when getting hit. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah. It knocks them back. Yeah. It also does damage to them. So it's already better than the Sonic Boom armor. Boom. Right. Next up is Prismatic. Head, chest, legs, boots. Armor. Prismatic. Also, give unlimited strength effects, and if I sneak, random negative effects well. Okay. Sneak. Ah, oh, my strength's gone. I thought I gave unlimited strength. Oh. Hmm. It only, only gives me strength when I with sneak, I don't know. Maybe like that they go the wrong way around and uh, swing out there. Well I can test it. So no negative effects. Still no negative effects. Yeah, so shift just gives you strength and it doesn't apply any negative effects to your enemies. Maybe you get strength when you get it. No, you get strength when you get it. Yeah. Well. And lastly, I run the deck. Let's see what this does. Oh, it looks like it's giving me fire resistance. Immune to fire, bins, mobs around when hit. I mean, it's better than the one that just constantly sets everything on fire. There's not as much fire. But like I said, if you're in the nether and the dirt you want to be in the fire, it's pretty decent. Alright, I'll be back in a minute once I. So I'm gonna build my recommended um, setup, setup for. Anyone that wants to use a small add-on that has this add-on. So I'll be right back and then I'll test out if they can be changed. Alright, so this is uh, the setup I think I would recommend uh, uh, for like combat and stuff. So we've got the uh, prismatic sword or hammer, whichever one you prefer. The hammer does like one more damage, I guess. It's, uh, but basically, you right click, you get strength effect. That's really good for combat. The uh, copper the diamond the set gives you resistance, which is really nice. Uh, I chose the copper emerald blaster uh, and the gem steel uh, chakram. And the reason why I chose Gem Steel Check One is because I think um, it, it's like going to be like, really effective because, like, uh, in the Nether, when like a blade or, or gas is floating above lava, you can't really get the drops, but you just throw that at them, it teleports into you, and then you hit them with your hammer, and then they're dead. So now let's see if they can be enchanted, and if so, what with? I've got one enchanted book. Let me go get an enchanted book.
Great one. So these have all like all the enchantments. Not all the enchantments, obviously, like they've got regular protection and not projectile or blast. They got fortune and not silk, which I believe. This should give us an idea of what kind of can be enchanted. Oh yeah, and it doesn't really matter about the tools because they all do the same. And like, I might uh, uh, leave a pin comment or something about the tools, or make a short a shorter video just going over the tools if they ever get updated. So let's see, sword can be enchanted with uh, unbreaking, sharpness, looting, and mending. Hammer can be enchanted with unbreaking, fortune, sharpness, mending, efficiency. Oh, right, that's odd. Why? Are you supposed to be able to mine with this? No! Oh, I think that's uh, bugged. So I think it's supposed to be, instead of like fortune, it's supposed to be like looting and instead of efficiency? I don't know. But I think that's not. I don't think that's right. It does have sharpness and many things. You don't get looting on that, and you do get looting on the sword. And it's still only one less damage. What about the blasters? Blasters can't be enchanted. What about gen steel chakrams? J can't be. Uh, chakrams can't be enchanted. Helmet can be enchanted with protection, thorns, respiration, aqua affinity, unbreaking and mending. Helmet can be enchanted with protection, thorns, uh, unbreaking and mending. Laying swift sneak, protection, thorns, unbreaking and mending. Boots, protection, feather falling, thorns, death strider, unbreaking and mending. Pickaxe, unbreaking, fortune and mending, efficiency. Unbreaking fortune mending efficiency. The oh yeah, staffs. I forgot about the staffs. Yeah, I wouldn't really recommend using the staffs either. Um, just too much charge of time to the PF. Uh, Axes can be uh, enchanted with unbreaking fortune sharpness mending and efficiency. And her can be um, enchanted with unbreaking fortune mending and efficiency. Still a bit slow. Oh wait, no, I'm in creative. Yeah. Yeah. It can insta mine stone. I think that's yeah. Oh wait, I've got haste because of the beacon. That's why. So, yeah, I think this is like the. This is probably the best setup you can get. Oh, I didn't want it to kill my villagers. Yeah, be careful with these around your villagers. Yeah, all right, I'm out of the range of the beacon. Okay, shovels and stamayan. I guess it's still a bit slow though, unfortunately. Yeah, I think the tools just need to be sped up at their mining speed. But yeah! So that's everything to show from this mod and add on, and yeah! It is a big one, to be sure. Um, well, I do like. What I do like about it is that it does um, it does add new weapons and tools and stuff, which not a lot of add-ons really do. Well, a bunch of have, have like new tools, like the. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I've already done it. I can't remember the one, but the one that adds the Omni, the multi block pickaxe and the Omni tool, like, 
They had them, but yeah, swords like new weapons are uh, quite often uh, not really uh, considered when. Uh, well, I don't know if they do, do, do consider them or not, but they, they don't really might add them very often. They are quite rare to be. And it's always nice to see new swords and armor being added. Uh, which one are you at? Uh, new and even a new entirely new type of weapon. No, why now? Alright, <laughs> sir. Yeah. Uh, it's quite fun. I do, I, I do, I would recommend this to anybody who's like, uh, just looking for like more armor and stuff. There are some. Yeah. Well, they're probably gonna be like add ons later on. Oh. They'll add like more like dangerous and powerful mobs, so this would definitely be good for that. But yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one, and bye. Oh, bye bye.